Hey guys, Chris Master here, welcome you to another episode of Pokemon Infernal Red. In the last episode, Professor Rowan gave us the running shoes after we beat Brock at the Pewter City Gym Leader. In this episode, we're going across uh, to see if we can get to Cerulean to meet back with Professor Rowan. And today, I'm joined with another guest star. Please introduce yourself. Hey everybody, it's Brenner Prime here, back with my good buddy Chris. Yep. Come after. Yep. So I'm gonna just head into the museum quickly. Um, pay fifty pounds. Yep. Sure. Oh wow, the guy's actually giving it, uh, giving it to us for free. That's cool. Um, I can't remember if there is a uh, item in the museum or not. But Team Plasma is hanging around here, so... They must be up to no good. Team Plasma probably thinking of trying to steal another, another skull. <laughs> I still can't believe they thought it was from an ancient dragon Pokemon. That's from a Dragonite, you dummies. Well, they live in you know, but I've never seen a Dragonite before. Well, until Black and White 2, that is. Yeah, um... This month, we're running the Space Exhibit. Okay, cool. Uh, is there anything for me here? Well, I must say, this space exhibit signs OUT OF THIS WORLD! <laughs> hey -oh! Okay, that joke has been used so many times it's pretty much, well, gone to Mars and back. Uh, another space pun, damn it! All the space puns. But yeah, um, they've actually taken the graphic from, you know, the Dragonite, um, the, uh, Dragonite or whatever and actually put it in this game which is pretty cool. Interesting. So that's instead of all, you know, the fossil exhibits uh, in the uh, museum in, you know, the original game. So it's pretty yeah. cool. Oh um, well, yeah, since I'm a fossil Pokemon nut, I would have feel right at home in here. So, yeah. So, for who was in the last episode, as uh, people remember, there was a tunnel here that wasn't in the original game. And the guy here said, after we beat Pewter City Gym, come back to it. So... Ah! Oh. oh hey, it's just you. I dug a slight, I dug slightly further since the last time, and came across this. Here, you can have it. Stardust, this is a sellable item. Um, but... Yeah, so basically, after every gym, if we come back here, we might be able to get a new item. So, let's see what the Pokemon, oh, the Pokemart has for us before we head out towards Cerulean. Yeah, it's good to back up on supplies, because you never know what you might have run into. I don't know, maybe like the bug catchers, uh, youngsters, lasses, and maybe the occasional uh, rare Pokemon. So, we have $14, 1400 Let's see what happens after we sell our Stardust. Yeah. Fourteen hundred? That's more than that's more than I make in a month. It's <laughs> more than I make and I make nothing. You make nothing! You lose! Good hey, you don't day, lose. Sir. You, no, you don't lose, because well you're a personal master. You're the master of everything. Uh let's get okay, we've got enough antidotes. Yeah, Let's it's best to take antidote because paralyzed heals. Paralyzed heals too, because yeah, the, these bug, these those bug Pokemon really love using the powder moves. Let's well, get uh, one repel because that's all I can afford. Cheap skate. Why do we sell the best stuff at the highest prices? Oh wait, it just answered my own question. Yep. All right, so let's head on out. Normally there would be a uh, Professor Oak aide here that would give you the running shoes and who would also block you out of the town if uh, you hadn't been a PUC gym yet, but this is the remake, so yeah, you would be Professor Rowan. What happened, what happened to Juniper? Did, did she, I don't know, fall out of a tree or something? So I, I do voice acting in that in this game. I literally I read that everything everyone says. So 
Pidgey. We've seen a Pidgey before. And we all, and everyone knows what happens when Fagra gets a hold of the Pidgey. Yes, okay. I named my Pikachu Fagra. You understand when you watch uh, the episode that I catch this Pokemon in. Yeah, you'll see where its name comes from. I'm also talking to you. Yes, I'm pretty much so spaced out, nothing makes sense to me anymore. Yep. Nothing makes any sense. Dear God, I've been watching too much Comedy Falls and Bill Flacker stuff. Yep. it, don't miss. Yeah, I needed one of these pidges when facing the rock, because it took me like three or four attempts to beat him. Well, as they say, can you smell? What the fuck is cooking? You just took that from my sky. <laughs> no, I didn't. Really? No, I, I swear to God, I don't even have Skype. What's the Skype? Skype is... <laughs> Please don't hunt me down with a chainsaw. Okay, I have an admirer, apparently. So, I'm gonna quit, um... I'm gonna battle... Uh, is it male or female? Uh, male guy. So, basically, I'm only gonna... Uh, on screen, I'm only gonna face people that we have to fight. And then, uh, when we get to the end of the room or whatever, I will, off screen, go off and, you know, uh, face... Trainers that we haven't fought. Of course, because, well, no one likes sitting here among us, it's just the same thing over and over again, unless you are, uh, into that kind of thing? I know, but that Cappy's a level 10. It should have been a Butterfree by now, or, or a really, really old Metapod. Yep. Um. Why did, I suddenly, why did I suddenly get dirty thoughts whenever I say really old Metapod? <laughs> oh right. Yeah. I'm no wonder it likes to use Harden. Yeah, I'm so glad they went with the uh, Gen 3 move set that they had because in Gen 5, Charmander didn't learn uh, Metal Claw, but in Gen 3 he actually did. So they're going with the Gen 3 move set, which makes it easier for me if I need to look up level Pokemon learn moves. Uh, I'm gonna keep battling, even though uh, my Pikachu's weaker, maybe after this battle, Infernal might get to level 16. Ooh, and we all know what happens at level 16. And for those of you who don't know what happened, Wait, <laughs> sh you're in for a big surprise. Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna ruin it, but. We I went, I went to level I went 16. And we get 2 plus HP. And some other pluses in other stats, but. What? Inferno is evolving. Yes, when a Pokemon reaches a certain requirement, either by level or by item, they upgrade into a, another stage. Charmander, when reached level 16, can evolve into Charmeleon. And when it reaches a higher level, oh boy, you're going to see some, something serious. Really, really. It's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, but I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone who doesn't watch Pokemon, so my lips are sealed. So I'm gonna okay, stop over this bug catcher. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna I thought you were gonna use him as a test on me to test out Infernal's uh, new uh new new and improved body. Yep. As you know, uh I'm gonna quickly go heal up because Fagra is at like two HP and I have no potions. Also, can I say, I love this goddamn song. I'm gonna go deep into the files and find the soundtrack and, like, you know, copy it all into my normal folder. I think this is just, like, the, you know, town's theme from, you know, black and white. But, yeah. I never thought I'd hear you gushing over Unova. This is one of your least favorite regions I hear. No, no, 
is actually Sinnoh is actually one of my least favourite regions. Unova was actually uh, my uh, second region I ever went to. Oh, oh yeah. But... I defend every single Unova Pokemon that people don't like. Vanilla is actually one of my favourite Pokemon from Unova. And I will yeah, defend no. them. And again, I've got a soft spot for Trubbish because, well, it's so stupid, it's awesome, because, I mean, I mean, it's, it's a little trash bag with arms. I mean, how can you not make this adorable? Or, well, for me, disgusting. Yeah. Oh, and besides, and besides, I mean, for those of you who don't know, you know, you know this based off, uh, off, of, off New York City, believe it or not. USA! USA! Although uh, we all know what we all know uh, what uh, what Kalos would eventually uh, what we know, we all know what Kalos is basically yeah Lumio City I wonder what the Lumio Tower DS is. gee I can't tell um have you heard of that massive conspiracy about you know at the end game you get to meet Luca and you like you know, solve a crime with Luca uh. Okay, what about it? People say that, like, you know, you have to solve, like, you know, the attack on, you, on uh, Lumio City or whatever with uh, Luca. They relate, people think uh, Nintendo are behind the whole, you know, attack on Paris because they foreshadowed it. So, Nintendo is an evil superpower. That kind of makes sense in some ways, because, I mean, soon we might be, we might be hailing a red plumber. <laughs> I've got a joke for you, related to Mario. Two plumbers walk into a bar. Ouch, it was a fire bar. Oh, um, and the green one gets hurt more than the red one, because, well, that's the law of the universe. Yep. Uh, but it's not as bad as a, cer as a certain long, slanky purple guy, because, well, uh, nobody loves him. Nobody does, not even their his own creators. Why does your why 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 does you never say Waluigi? Why was I gonna do like some like Gollum voice there? So Gollum is best. No, Waluigi. Waluigi is best. I'm doing it the wrong way. I don't even know what's going on inside my head. I leave the uh, impressions to you. <laughs> yes, because well, I am a voice actor, and I'm mixing up Gollum with Waluigi. How? What is happening to me? WHAT THE HELL IS HAPPENING TO ME?! I'M TURNING INTO WALUIGI GOLEM HYBRID THING! Oh god... Well, oh, oh, en enough, enough strangeness today. Wait... Let's change this now. Can I just quickly ask something? Electro that's a Gen 5 move, isn't it? Yes, Pikachu's learned that naturally. But in Gen 5... Oh, they've mixed up the move set actually there. Yeah, they, they gave Pikachu Electro Ball. No, no, this game. This remake, oh, no. the makers of this fan made game or whatever, have actually I'm... mixed it up. They allowed Charmeleon to learn Metal Claw when he did it in Fire Red, but they've actually just given them all the Gen 5 movesets, minus a few tweaks and that. Oh, damn, huh, that's yeah. uh, pretty cool. Interesting. I, uh, actually, I actually I didn't know that. I mean, I know it's like a. Like Gen One mixed with Gen Five, but I never knew they do that. No. Good on you, creators. Good on you. Yeah. Although, I, although I would, although I want to say I take it one step further. Maybe, maybe recreating like, um, maybe re recreating the like the uh, the center region and um, in X and Y stuff. I personally would love to see that. Like my the first Pokemon game I ever played was Platinum, and uh, I'd love to see it in, in a new life because Platinum was really underappreciated. I mean. I, I, I mean, if anyone watches Sugar Chrono, he's already gushed about how it's a really underappreciated game, and uh, I don't want to be—I don't want to be the dead uh, Rapidash. <laughs> oh, but oh, you my Pokemon, I just can't. So you're gonna be half dead, beaten animals. Yo, I really need to stop saying everything that Sugar said in his Let's Play, even though probably the last time I saw his Let's Play of Fire Red was like two years ago. But like every time I like think of this one room, there's like so many jokes I remember from his episode. You know? Well, because I mean, well, Chug is one of the best let's players of Pokemon out there. He's actually the guy who introduced me to Pokemon. Oh yeah, thank you, Chug Conroy, because well, you brought one of uh, the best ever game franchises to this to this guy, and look at he's doing now. He's playing Pokemon and does it 
almost every day because Pokemon is the Pokemon is love, Pokemon is life, Pokemon is well. Pokemon is now catching bones. Well, I would. Well, the games are, but Pokemon Go is kind of well, uh, kind of, kind of. Uh, I don't want to say it, but Pokemon Go is kind of like heroin. Once you get hooked on it, you won't let go. I haven't actually played Pokemon Go yet. Well, I have played it on a friend's phone, but I don't actually have it. At all. Me neither. I don't intend on getting it, and I have an iPad. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want. I don't want. Because I don't want to get a broken arm or something from a. Uh, from trying to catch a rare Pokemon, because I've actually have seen that happen a few times. Some dude almost got run over trying to get a Pokemon in the middle of the road. Jeebus, they jeebus. It's not risking your life to catch something rare, dude. It's, it's just common knowledge. But, um, without Sean Conroy, me and you probably would have never met and been friends, because, um, do you want to tell the story, or should I? Well, I uh, go right ahead because I like I like listening to your story, your stories of weird and wonderful myth. Okay, so um, Sean Corey got me into Xenoblade Chronicles as well as uh, Predator here, and um, basically at a Comic Con um, a year ago, a year and a couple of months ago, um, I dressed up as Sean from Xenoblade Chronicles, and uh, Predator here went as nostalgia. Friend. And uh, we ran across each other a couple of times now, and eventually we started playing Pokemon on 3DS and that. Then we exchanged Skype numbers and that, and yeah. And the rest is history. Yeah, but now we're making this collab uh, about a year and a couple of months later. Yeah, and there's also a lot of stuff behind the scenes you probably didn't see, maybe on my channel, maybe on, on uh, other channels as well, but there's also stuff that, um, you probably shouldn't see because it will probably destroy your mind. I would tell you, but it's so secret that not that not even well, um, not even not even my grandma knows. Wait, uh, not even my grandma knows. Oh, extra transceivers ring it. Basically, <laughs> hey, sorry to call you so sudden. I just found out that Sam beat the Peter City gym leader. He may be arrogant, but he shows a promising talent. By the way, Sam's the name of my uh, rival of the guess. Hmm, how about That's you name him some, something else? You beat the gym leader too. Well, my goodness, the two of you are as talented as each other. I see that you met my colleague, Professor Roy. I trust you received the items he delivers. Yes, well, excellent. It should help you on your journey. Professor Roy travels here from a distant region called Sinner. I am helping him. His research on Pokemon evolution. You should probably go and pay him a visit. I hear he's staying in Cerulean City right now. Alright, I have research to do. Be sure to visit your mother. She's always proud of you. Goodbye. I'm gonna quickly heal because. I don't know. Um. Also, yeah, I just realised I went through this entire episode so far without using the running shoes. Oh, well, that was wasteful. True, yeah. Granted, though, I have to hold down the Z button, which is completely far away from where my hand is at the moment, because I'm sort of like playing this one handed. So it's, you know, I didn't really have a chance to sort of do it, because I'm. I, because when I normally play on the keyboard and that with like, you know, put fan made put games and that, I literally just play it with one arm and then just do like other stuff with like another like hold like a mug to drink or whatever or just like fiddle with like a pen and paper or whatever. So I'm not used to holding down the run button in this game. Oh god damn it! I ran into a Pokemon trainer that I shouldn't have. Huh. Well, we're getting one more battle than needed. Actually, two, seeing I thought, seeing I thought that girl with the Jigglypuff, even though I didn't have to. Um, uh, fuck the shot. Yo, you know would be really awesome if Shovel Cowboy actually watched this video. Well, uh, I would, I would, I don't want to crush your dreams, but. Chuck is still busy with all kinds of where uh, some kinds of well all kinds of stuff. Uh, he might he might see it maybe and uh, 
Besides, uh, Chuck is probably off uh, maybe exploring a dark, dank mansion with a certain green plumber, or maybe, or maybe going, or maybe going on some epic grand adventure in a place called Bionis. Huh. Hard to tell, really. Yeah. Can I say, static as the ability is so amazing. Yeah, because once, because once you get paralyzed, uh, you're gonna have a lot of trouble because it's a stat that. Uh, that uh, unfortunately does not go away. Cause, well, in the wise, actually, only one in the wise of words of sand, yeah. you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, okay, seriously, that that place I was heard about, you're gonna have a bad time, was not from Undertale. It was from a Star Park meme uh, from that, like a ski instructor said, if you're gonna have something, something, you're gonna have. To, if you do something, something, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, although I'm surprised they haven't crossed it with Undertale. I should probably search out that they actually have used the two memes together. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I've played Undertale before, but I sort of want to. I actually want to watch someone else play who don't know anything about the game. So I think that would be pretty funny. Um, but yeah, we made it to Route 4, I believe this is. Um, and there's another Pokemon Center here, and we found a Repel, which is... Brilliant, now we have two repels. Well, uh, the more the merrier, that's what I say. Yep. But... So, yeah. so, so, we made it to cross that route full of trainers and made our way to Mount Moon. This is the only obstacle stopping us from reaching Cerulean City. Join me next time, and maybe Owen if he's here. When Don't use my real name. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Wait, that's not my real name. It's not my, re my I real. I a lie. My real name is censored for obvious reasons. Yeah. Nah. So you've reached your reached the giant moon rock. So yeah. uh, I will leave you to it because, quite frankly, I cannot be arsed stick around, because quite frankly, those Clefairies scare me, because, well, look at their eyes, they're plotting something. Well, aren't you gonna be disappointed when you meet my next member? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys for watching, uh, link to Predator's channel will be below, and I'll see you next time.